We have 12 targets here. They're all four inch squares from the same steel. This is our AR500. We offer water jet cut targets. There's also plasma and laser cut targets. There's a lot of contention whether that cutting method, uh, whether it be water jet, laser, or plasma, makes a difference in target durability. So what we're gonna do is shoot these on the cut face with a 223 from 100 yards, and we're gonna measure the depth at which the bullet penetrates into the steel and see if there's a difference between water jet, laser, or plasma. We have two magazines loaded up with 30 rounds each, 55 grain angel fire ammo going about 2,930 feet per second. We have the targets down there randomized in order. So we have plasma, laser, and water jet cut targets. We're gonna be shooting the cut face and we're gonna put 30 rounds on them and see what happens. We completely destroyed the threaded rod that the targets were attached to, so we'll stop here, go replace that, but we'll go look at the results now. Okay, here you can see a laser cut target. There's large chunks taken out of the edge. Before we started shooting, you could really see the heat affected zone all around the target. This was cut with a, a pretty high end laser and it was supposed to offer a very minimal heat affected zone. You can see the big chunks that got taken out of it. Next is plasma cut. This is surprising. I expected uh, perhaps more damage than laser cut. Uh, you can see it took some chunks out, but not quite as bad. This is several direct hits. Last is our water jet cut target. Again, this is all the same steel. You can see it took a direct hit right on the edge, and there's just barely a ding taken out of it. Uh, the other targets look pretty much similar. Um, the laser all has big chunks cut out of it. Uh, the plasma has smaller chunks, and the water jet cut uh, has taken direct hits, and there's, there's minimal deformation. So we're going to put the steel back together uh, in a random order and shoot another mag at it. Okay, we're running out of daylight, so we're going to do one more test with a full mag on the cut surfaces. Uh, we'll do the, the conventional shooting on the edge later. Um, the water jet performed about as we expected. It's cut without heat, so the edge is just as hard as the center of the target. We had tiny little divots from a 223 to 100 yards, which is normal, um, but we're going to see if we can verify those results again with 30 more rounds. All right, that was 30 rounds. Our contraption held up. Uh, let's go see the results now. Okay, here's the, the results before we take the plates off. They're in a randomized order. First, I can tell these are the laser cut. And you can see how the, the metal not only really got dinged up, but it's cracking and splitting. Um, I surmise the ones that have just the dings on them are water jet cut, uh, but we'll take this apart and take a closer look. Okay, so not every single target got hit, but here is one of each that got hit multiple times. We have a plasma, you can see by the P, a laser cut, you can tell by the L, and a water jet cut. And you can hardly see the letters, but we can tell by the cut surface. Um, so the water jet cut, you can see it got hit on multiple sides during this test. Uh, we rotated the sides we shot, um, and the bullets pretty much bounced off. There is tiny little divots taken out, um, but not quite as much as the plasma cut, you can see it took a, a fair chunk out of it. And then uh, what did worst was the laser cut. Um, and it took quite large dings out and uh, some direct impacts have some cracking on the steel. So again, we'll do a test where we shoot these conventionally and try and hit the edges. We're running out of daylight, um, but this is good results and somewhat what we expected. We thought laser might do better. <laughs> 